So in this slide you see a bunch of other things that count. And specifically these are all about the search term. I search in this case for um, bore drill. Right? I'm some mechanic, I'm searching for bore drill. Which page is, is a better guess, is Google's better guess of the one that you want? First of all, we have this popularity thing, so that's definitely true, but there are other things that count as well. Specifically, how important does the concept of bore drill seem to be on this particular page? Is it just mentioned somewhere down on, you know, five scrolls down the page, or is it what the page is all about? Obviously, if it's what the page is all about, it's more important, it should be higher in the ranking than one where it's just sort of mentioned. So what kind of things does Google look for to say, this page is all about bore drilling? Well, there's a number of things, and you can see them delineated here. The first one is, is it in the title? If it's in the title of the page, you can assume that that page is really about it. Think of the page kind of like a book, right? If the, if the word bore drill is in the title of the book, well, you should probably pay attention to that book because that, that's, that's a, it's an important concept there. It's in the title of the page. Pages are supposed to have titles on the web. They don't all have titles. If you, uh, for example, if you Google the, the word untitled, which is what, people, what a lot of web uh, creation tools put in if you don't put in a title, you'll find there's lots and lots of pages titled untitled on the web. But in this case, the title is bore drill, so that makes it a more important page. Is it in the URL? Is it boredrill.html? If it's boredrill.html, that may be a strong indication that this page really is about bore drills. Okay, some other places. Is it in the headings? Um, headings are the big bold lines on your web pages, and so a heading next to the title is kind of the next level down about what the page is about. If the word bore drill is on one of those headings, a first heading or a second heading or a third heading on the page, obviously the page is more about bore drills than if it isn't in those headings. Some other places that it looks are in, um, in the links on the page, or excuse me, yeah, on the links on the page, and if the links on the page are all about bore drills, the page is going to rank higher. In the um, images on the page, if there's a bunch of pictures of bore drills, and the pictures, how do you know the pictures about a bore drill? Because every picture is allowed to have a caption on a web page, and if in the caption it says bore drill, an indication that bore drills are even more important on that page. Um, and then also in, um, in bullets. Bullets are those little circles followed by a sentence. And if you think about it, bullets outline the most important points of something, right? They're the, the highlighted points. And if the word bore drill is in there, that counts as well. So you can see that there are significant places, significant parts of the page where if your search term, if your query term, bore drill, is there, it really matters, it really counts, it escalates the page, it brings the page up in the rankings. So we have this popularity contest kind of ranking. We also have where your terms fall on the page. There are different things about your page that are considered important for, uh, for ranking it higher. There's also literal ways that you can say to, the, to Google, this page is about bore drilling, please pay attention. Those aren't shown here, but um, I'll just tell you about them off to the side. So we have the popularity contest, we also, have the, um, we also have the position of your search terms on that.